All right, go ahead and start it up. So what I'm going to do in this video is go over the cat arteries and veins that we're responsible for. So a good place to start is the heart. And this, this is a pretty large heart for this cat, but this is a heart right here. This large vessel coming out, this is the aorta. And where the aorta is going uphill, we call it the ascending aorta. From about here to here, we call it the aortic arch. And then when it starts descending, we call it the descending aorta. Now where it's in the thoracic cavity, we're going to call it the descending thoracic aorta. And when it passes through the diaphragm, we then call it the descending abdominal aorta. But we'll get back to that in a minute. So coming back up here to the aortic arch, you have two vessels coming off the aortic arch. The left one is your left subclavian artery. And this is going to come up and it's going to curve right around the axillary region. At this point, we call it the left axillary artery. And then it's going to branch into the left subscapular artery, which is right here, and the left brachial artery. So our left uh, axillary artery branching into the left subscapular, left brachial artery. Then the brachial artery is going to continue out across the arm in the brachial region. If we go back now to our aortic arch, our second branch, this is called the brachiocephalic artery. And the brachiocephalic has three branches on it. Right there you can see them. The first branch, this is going to be the left common carotid artery and it's going to go up on the left side of the trachea. The next branch, this is your right common carotid artery going up the right side of the trachea. And then the far right branch, this is the right subclavian artery. And this is going to continue out where it's going to become the right axillary artery in the axillary region. And then it's going to branch into the right subscapular, which is right there, and then right brachial and continue out. It's not doesn't look so good on this side of the arms. Okay, we've got pulmonary arteries and veins. They don't look too good on this cat. And so anything that is going to be blue in the lung will be a pulmonary artery. Anything that's red in the lung will, will be a pulmonary vein. Okay, if we come down now to the abdominal cavity, this is now, and you can see the diaphragm here where I pulled it and separated it out. This right here is our descending abdominal aorta. And so the first branch off the descending abdominal aorta, this is our celiac artery right here. You may also hear this called celiac trunk. This has three branches to it. The first branch is called the gastric, or sorry, the hepatic artery is the first one. The next one is the gastric artery right there. And then the third one is the splenic or splenic artery. And note that the splenic artery may have a couple of branches of its own. So keep those in order. So then we're going to be back down to the descending abdominal aorta. The next branching point is this large one right here. This is our anterior mesenteric artery. And this is going up and supplying blood to the small intestine, the mesenteries. Then if we come back down, we are back down to our descending abdominal aorta. And our next branch is our iliolumbar artery. Or wait, no. Um, this is the adrenolumbar artery. And <clears throat> this is supplying the adrenal gland right here, which is a small gland. So now we're going to continue down along our descending abdominal aorta. Our next branch is our renal artery. And this happens to be the left renal artery. Anytime you see renal, we're talking about kidney. So this is supplying kidney or uh, blood to the kidney. Then we're going to continue down along our descending abdominal aorta. And next we're going to get to this artery right here. Now this artery is going all the way down. Let me get this urinary bladder out of the way. This artery is going all the way down, 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 all the way down to the spermatic cord right here and into the testes and scrotum. So this is a male cat. So this would be our testicular artery or just for general, we call it the gonadal artery. Now, if we continued back down along our descending abdominal aorta, our next vessel is our 
posterior mesenteric artery. And the posterior mesenteric artery, you can see it here, this is supplying blood to the large intestine. Now we're going to continue down along our descending abdominal aorta again, right here. Our next artery, these are called the iliolumbar arteries. This is your left iliolumbar artery, right iliolumbar artery. Then we're going to continue down along our descending abdominal aorta until it's going to branch. And the two branches here, these are called the external iliac arteries. So this would be our left external iliac artery. The left ex external iliac is going to continue out, and then once it makes its way onto the leg, we're going to call it the uh, left femoral artery. Okay, if we go back down here to our uh, aorta, the first branch, these are our external iliacs. The second branch, these are our internal iliac arteries. And then we have this one little piece that's continuing down. This is the caudal artery. Okay, so those are the arteries. Now let's take a look at the veins. So, back up to the heart, good starting point. This large vessel, which is anterior to the heart, this is called the pre-cava. And so the pre-cava is going to move up, 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 and then we have this vessel, which is coming perpendicular to it. This is called the internal mammary vein. And in your lab book, it looks like just a little bit of a circle right there because they've cut it but you should have a nice big vein coming up here. Okay, the pre-cava is going to branch into two branches. This is your left brachiocephalic vein right there, and this is your right brachiocephalic vein. So the brachiocephalic vein from here to here is now going to branch again. It's going to branch into the external jugular. This would be your left external jugular vein, and it's going to branch into the left subclavian vein. So right there and there. The left subclavian vein is going to branch into the left subscapular vein and the left axillary vein. Then the axillary vein is going to continue out, 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 and once it gets its way onto the arm, we're going to call it the left brachial vein. Okay, and then also on your handout is the left median cubital. So the vein that's out here by the elbow, the cubital region, this is your left median cubital vein. Okay, you also have another vein up here, which I kind of ripped by accident, but this is called your transverse jugular. And in this cat, it's not stained very well, but it's going in the transverse section right across the trachea, um, just above the larynx. Okay, so if we come back to our pre-cava and take a look here on the right side, we can see this vessel coming off of here, and I accidentally broke this one earlier. This is the azygous vein, and you can see that it continues down along this region. So if we look in here, again, here's our heart, and now we see this large vein in the posterior side of the heart. This is called the post cava. And so this is gonna be called the post cava pretty much all the way. So let's go ahead and follow it. So here you can see your post cava coming through the diaphragm and all these organs in here. We have our adrenal lumbar vein right here which is going to the adrenal gland. We have our renal vein, this would be again the left, and then we have our post cava going down again. And then we're going to come to the iliolumbar vein right there, that's our right iliolumbar vein and you can see the artery running over top of it. And then we're going to come back to our post cava right here. Now the post cava is going to split and it's kind of hard to see with these arteries in the way. But the first branch from about here to here, about here to here, this is our left common iliac vein on both sides. So left common iliac, right common iliac. And then the common iliac is going to split into the internal and external. So this one down in here is your internal iliac vein. And disregard this artery right here. And then the other branch, this is your external iliac vein. And just like before, the external iliac is going to continue out across the leg where it becomes the femoral vein. And I think I got them all. 
Okay. Go ahead and turn it off. One more, the 